<sighs> Sit down for this one. So, um, do we start off with the, the good news or the bad news? First? Let's just get the bad news out the way. So, I mean, you see the title of the video and it's very concerning. Uh, Jimmy Smith was carted off uh, during practice today. Uh, they said there was about 30 minutes left and he was in, I think, one on ones with Mark Andrews, got tangled up. I guess he fell the wrong way and he got carted off. Um, I haven't heard anything after that. Haven't heard any updates, anything like that, saying what the status of Jimmy Smith is. Um, but maybe by the time y'all see this video, it's 11, 18 a.m. right now. Maybe by the time y'all see this video and it's uploaded, hopefully we'll have an update to where we get some positive news for Jimmy Smith. Because this would absolutely just, this would be terrible, man. It, it would be terrible, especially since he's most likely a year away from uh, retiring. You don't want to ever be forced out the game. We see so many players every single year in the NFL, they get forced out the game to where injuries just take them out and make them retire. We don't want that for Jimmy Smith. We know he's been plagued with injuries throughout the entirety of his career, but we don't want to see him go out like that. So hopefully it ends up just being the Ravens being overly cautious, overly protective. Uh, so they and they didn't want to take any chances with Jimmy Smith. They were like, hey, just bring the card out just to be extra, extra, extra safe. Hopefully that is, that's what it is. Uh, I know when my guy Meech first, uh, he sent me a DM. He was like, oh, I, I heard Jimmy Smith got caught it off. And I was like, stop playing, man. I said, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't troll. Don't, don't mess around like that. Don't do that. But then I started looking around and I saw it and I was like, oh, man. It sucked. It sucked. Um, so, again, hopefully this is just a, a short-term thing and an overly cautious thing by the Ravens. Uh, other, I guess, sort of bad news uh, was that Lamar Jackson wasn't out there today. Now, with Lamar Jackson not being out there, uh, he was eligible to return today. But I know Jeff Zrebic, he talked about it yesterday. He tweeted it yesterday that while Lamar Jackson, he could return today. And I believe they said he was in a building, but just not practicing anything like that. But Jeff Zrebic, he gave us sort of a, a, a heads up on to, to sort of sort of drop our expectations a little bit for Lamar returning today. Now, even though I was still hoping, I was still like anticipating. I was like, oh, come on, let's go, baby, come on. But Jeff Zrebic, he talked about it yesterday where he said that um, he doesn't expect the Ravens to like rush him back and be like, okay, Lamar's back, all right, put him out there. He, he talked about it that he, with the Ravens, he expect them to just go through the protocols and whatnot and just double check everything to make sure everything is good to go with their starting quarterback. So I guess tomorrow... Tomorrow would be the new day to expect Lamar Jackson to make his return back to the practice field for the Ravens. And that's that's going to be exciting. That's going to be a beautiful thing. Uh, like I said yesterday, it's like when you when you watch WWF and you hear rumors and stuff, especially in the, in the day and age of the Internet. If you're watching like WWE and Internet stage, but when you hear rumors about, oh, this person's they getting ready to return, they said to return. You go to all them rumor pages and all that, and you're like, oh, yeah, it's going down tonight. And then WWE hits that swerve. And it's like, oh, they don't show up. And you're like, oh. So then the expectations are lowered. So then when that person does return, you get that much more hyped and that much more surprised because they don't come when you expected it. But with Lamar Jackson, it's a little different because we still expect him to return. It's any day now. But when he does return, we'll be super uh, excited. So, uh, just got one of those scam likely calls. Don't you love them? Anyway, now to, to the good news. To the good news. Gus Edwards and the Ravens, they tried to sneak him. They tried to sneak him there at first. Because they ain't mentioned him at first, but they had him in videos. Because they were busy showing Justin Houston, who made his Ravens debut today. Number 48 jersey, a little ugly, but it's okay. I, I think he's, he's going to wait till that roster gets trimmed down. And then he's going to have his picking of, of his jersey number. I, I don't see him sticking with that 48. But, hey, who knows? Maybe he likes it. But it was nice to see him out there. I know they said that they, um, they took him out of practice a little bit early, not due to injury or anything. But Harbaugh said that they, um, they, that was the plan already. So shout out to Justin Houston. He is officially a Raven. He was officially in the building. So that's a beautiful thing. But like we talked about, too, in the video where they were showing Justin Houston, uh, there was Gus Edwards standing there with J.K. Dobbins and some other running backs, too. And it was a beautiful thing to see because uh, Gus Edwards, he, of course, was placed on that COVID list a um, uh, week and change ago. Uh, but now with him being back, that makes the Ravens that much stronger. And you just feel like it's nice when 
these guys that they're starting to come back because when you have all your guys you you have different guys getting reps you have different guys being available now it just puts the team in motion and the team can sort of get ready to hit that stride so that's a beautiful thing uh we got preseason coming up uh next week so that's gonna be exciting um it's these are exciting times man super exciting times uh some other news they had the uh the presser today um, the presser featured uh, it featured Derek Wolf, and I love how he started it. He said, "No stupid questions, no stupid questions." Um, so shout out to Derek Wolf, but he some of the things he mentioned he didn't mention anything significant, but he talked about how he he misses the fans and he's really glad to have the fans back because with the fans he's like, "Oh, last year if you made a big play or something, you're like, all right, on to the next play." But now with the fans. You make a big play, you hear the screams and the cheers and all that, and it's a beautiful thing. Um, so shout out to Derek Wolf. They also had the Ravens defensive line coach, Anthony Weaver, who used to um, think he was the defensive coordinator with the Texans last year. But he, of course, former Raven, played with the Ravens before, so he knows what it's like to be in the building. Uh, but he's back now as a coach. And I know this, it's always funny, that, that's, what a lot of, uh, that's what a lot of fans do. And I think they do this subconsciously. A lot of fans do this when they know a player is up there in age and they pass their prime and they like really slowing down. A lot of fans subconsciously, they go, oh, yeah, that, that player, I, I, I hope he returns back to be a coach. I hope he comes back to the Ravens as a coach. So it happened with Anthony Weaver. He came back as a coach and he talked about how um, he loves seeing how he watches the 30 for 30s and all these teams that won their championships and whatnot. And he sees the players all coming back to celebrate together and the team celebrate together. He says he wants that. He wants to be a part of that. Um, so that's going to be uh, well, hopefully that's what he ends up getting to do. Um, but it's going to be a very interesting season. Uh, Justin Matabike. He also spoke. And Justin Matabike, a very, very humble guy, um, he talked about how now, because they asked him, what's the difference between this year and last year and whatnot? Um, and he said, I just got another year of experience. Got another year of experience. And we remember last year, he got hurt in training camp, I believe. So he missed like the first three weeks of the season. Um, and, and something that I, I talked about last year and, and talked about it whenever we speak about Justin Matabike is that you know... The Ravens saw something special in him last year because he was injured. He was not ready to go week one. He was not ready to go week two. He was not ready to go week three. He was injured. But with the Ravens, they could have placed him on the physically unable to perform list. And that would have gave them a roster spot. So they could have brought somebody else up. They could have kept somebody else on the roster. But they kept him on the active roster. So with them keeping him on the active roster, even though he was not ready to play, that let me know that how highly the Ravens felt about him and when he was ready that they wanted him back as soon as possible. They didn't want him to have to wait an extra couple of weeks if he was still on the pup list. They wanted him back right away. So that lets me know that the Ravens really feel like he is a great player. And then on top of that, every time you hear about Justin Matabike, this training camp, you only hear great things. Now, I know it's training camp. I know it's training camp. It's just practice. You obviously got to do it in the games, too. But even in the games last year when we saw him, he started coming on a lot stronger toward the end of the season, started getting more and more opportunities. Justin Matabike is going to be just fine. He's going to be just fine. And he just, what he can do, I remember when the Ravens first drafted him. I didn't know who he was because y'all know I don't watch college football like that. So what I did, I watched some games and I watched him specifically. And one of the things that I said, and you can go back to the draft video, uh, when we when we made it back, what was that, two years ago or last year, whenever. Uh, well, we talked about how what I watched when I saw him in college was that they could move him on the inside or they can move him to the outside. And that that is perfect for what these Ravens like to do. They like to have these defensive linemen do different stunts. They like to move them inside, outside. They, it, the more that you can do. The more you can do, especially with Wink, the better. So it's very um, super exciting to think about uh, just the possibility and the capability of one Justin Houston. Uh, so that's going to be uh, just fun to watch him this year and to, for him to carry on that number 92. 
Because we know that one guy who wore number 92, he was pretty disruptive. He was a former rugby player, big physical guy on the interior of that defensive line. They even use him on offense a little bit too. So shout out to Lodi Nada. Um, but anyway, team keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Oh, I forgot to mention. Shout out to those of y'all that stuck around for the end of the video. I made a TikTok. I made a TikTok. I even put, made three videos on there last night. So we already on that grinding, man. So shout out to TikTok. It's, it's engraving vids, just like everything else. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. It's all engraving vids. I don't think I'm going to be on there dancing, but we're going to have some fun on there. But I appreciate y'all, Team Keep It Clean. I love y'all. Thank you for a very, very great week here on Team Keep It Clean. Uh, let's head into the weekend. Keep doing your thing. Uh, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you do for work, whatever it is that you do on a daily Keep doing your thing. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Shout out to all the new uh, Team Keep It Clean patrons. Shout out to the, all the old patrons as well. Um, I appreciate it. And even anybody who's not a patron anymore, I still appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. Uh, have a really, hope y'all had a really great week. And if you didn't, hey, it's the middle of Friday. So you could turn the end of this week around. You could head into the weekend on a positive note, man. Love y'all. Y'all stay up. We out.